Hello students, in this part we are going to discuss about a very very important topic that is limiting reagent and is also known as limiting reactant. So how to find which is the limiting reagent in a chemical reaction and what is its significance. To know all these things we have to go through this, this particular part. So let's start. So now let's understand the concept of limiting reagent which is very very important which is very very important for JE purpose and it is also important for solving numericals based upon the stoichiometry okay so first understand what is meant by limiting reagent so we can also call this limiting reagent as limiting reactant it is going to be one of the reactants involved in the reaction so what is the limiting reagent so if you see the name if you decode the name the limiting reagent or limiting reactant so it is a reactant that limits the reaction what is meant by limiting reaction? Limiting reaction means it is a reagent or reactant that controls the extent to which a chemical reaction takes place. Okay. So basically it is the one which stops the reaction. Which stops the reaction. So that's why the name is given as limiting reagent since it is the only reactant that limits any reaction. That limits the reaction. Okay. So it decides the extent of reaction and the amount of products formed which is very very important the limiting reagent is the one which controls the amount of products formed in any reaction okay so this concept of the limiting reagent is valid for chemical reactions which involve more than one reactant that is at least two reactants should be there and two or more than two should be present in the reacting mixture okay so if you take only one reactant then the concept of limiting reagent is not not applicable okay because if there is only one reactant then there is no concept of this limiting reagent okay so let's understand the concept of the limiting reagent from our daily life example okay so the example which I am presenting here is a very simple one so here how many t-shirts I have taken I have taken four t-shirts and there are two pants right so four t-shirts I have taken two pants I have taken and I want to uh, make pairs using one t-shirt and one pant okay so to tell me how many maximum number of pairs that that is possible for me to make maximum number of pairs the answer is simple only two pairs you can make maximum two you can make because you have only two pants though you have four shirts four t-shirts but out of four t-shirts only two t-shirts are going to be used up and two pants are going to be used up so maximum you're going to prepare only two pairs and what are the two t-shirts we have these are excess these are excess we cannot make a pair because we are we are we don't have enough pants okay so these are the pants which are not enough and which are controlling the number of pairs that you can possibly make okay so this is the one which is present in excess amount and this is the one which is present in in the limited amount right so this is going to be the my limiting reagent and this is going to be my excess reagent right 